Um, I think it was really important for us to gain some momentum going into more SEC play. Getting the five goals was really important to build our confidence going into Arkansas and some of, some of the tougher games. So just scoring a couple of goals, building our confidence, um, it was good. Talk about some of the ways that the confidence increases, not only overall, but just in the game as you score one and then they just keep coming. Yeah, I feel like recently that kind of has been one of our struggles of like we scored like one or two goals and it's kind of been like not a lull, but just like kind of a we're up, like there's no point to go get another one type thing. But um, that that needed to change and that um, that momentum carried on after we scored the first two goals. So um, being hungry in the box and being um, excited and brave to go score more goals was was the mindset going into the game and as it should be in every game regardless of who we're playing. So um, less about being like, I guess, reserved and um, holding on to our, league, our lead, more about like going in and getting the next goal is what is important to us. So I think that was great going into um, a tougher game against Arkansas, so. On top of just being confident on the field, um, what do you think clicked between you and the rest of the team, especially scoring two goals in less than five minutes. That's yeah. incredible. Uh -huh. But what do you think clicked and what do you think you guys are going to take forward? Yeah, I think honestly, we had struggled a little bit in the final third, just getting that like final pass off or getting our shot off. And so it's, we knew that we were capable of like scoring goals and like once we got a shot off it being on frame, it was just a matter of getting the shot off or being in the right spot. So we've been working on, on all those things here at practice and so just seeing that finally like execute and like go into the uh, the game was important so I think scoring the two goals back to back I like I said is was pretty cool but more importantly getting some people that haven't scored and other people on the score sheet uh, is important just to gain confidence um, and I guess overall like attacking mine so is there anything you specifically are going to take from Mercer into Vanderbilt and Arkansas? Um, I think I think just being like brave and and being more confident in the attacking third. Right now it's like not hesitant, but more of like um, individual. And I think between Gianna, me, Atala, Kate, Leah, like we're very much capable of scoring goals and, um, and creating in the attacking third. It's just a matter of getting it done. So we, we all have the green light and like, I guess the the want to go and now it's just putting the pieces together. So I think that just gained our, our confidence and kind of reassured that we are capable of doing things like that. So um, taking that stuff from Mercer into Arkansas and so on is going to be important. On top of scoring goals and this being Cameron and Nadia's first goal, which I know you're really excited yeah. for, um, what are you just excited for them just as a team as a whole while going into SEC? Yeah, well? as a freshman, it's so exciting scoring your first goal. I feel like there's you know, you always remember your first goal and stuff like that. But now it's it, Nadia knows she's capable of scoring. Cami knows she's capable of scoring. So I think they're kind of like have broken down that like the floodgate kind of thing. Like they they've scored, they know they can. So they're gonna have confidence to take shots to to follow in on on crosses and stuff like that. So I'm excited for all of them. Um, I'm excited to see Atala score a couple more goals. I'm excited to see Leah score a couple more goals. So I think I think we should be pretty excited about what the attacking half is going to bring. I believe the announcer uh, called you the metronome on the Sunday broadcast. Oh God! Uh, two things. One, That's how do you feel about that? But secondly, conceptually, pacing the offense and pay, and really kind of keeping everything uh, going from the midfield position. Uh, how do you feel about that responsibility as you guys head into SEC play? I mean, as an attacking midfielder, I, I guess the kind of like overall like thing is just to like create, be creative, um, share the ball, kind of set the tempo, you know, be the the person that kind of facilitates what goes on in the attack. So as my, I appreciate the compliment and stuff, but like that is as my job, that's my job as an attacking midfielder. Um, it's my job to get the ball to Gianna. It's my job to get the ball to Leah. It's my job to you know, lead them in the right places so that they can score. So just doing that to, I guess, continue to keep my team going. And I think it's also important that I do those things just to, to create as much as I can and to give us the best odds of winning. So I think that's as my job as an attacking midfielder as it is um, Izzy's job and anybody else who plays attacking mid, like that's, that's, our, that's our purpose to be in there and do that. So.
Yeah. Is the KDB nickname sticking around? Oh this God, year? I don't know. Riley, Riley is actually um, staying at my house right now, so we've been we've been kind of just chilling and watching soccer. So it hasn't been brought up yet, but <laughs> I might need a couple more assists before that happens. Backpacking on the other question, um, what are just your personal and team goals against this matchup against Arkansas and even Vanderbilt on Sunday? Yeah, I think Arkansas is always a tough game. I mean, they're, they're a tough team. They never go down easily. They always give us a tough game regardless of who we have, regardless of what kind of soccer we're playing, what kind of soccer they're playing. So I think in general, just, just to be ourselves, it's really hard with a team that plays such a good style or like such a different style than we do. Like. I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of hard to not follow their ways. We have to be ourselves um, going into this game. And so continuing to do that and knowing that we are capable of winning a game like this against a team that, um, that is very good, um, it, is much, it is so capable. So we, we're, we're excited. And then heading into Vanderbilt, um, to be honest with you, I haven't really thought much about Vanderbilt. <laughs> but um, we're back home, and it's always exciting to play here at home. And once again, Vanderbilt is a good team too. So. Um, we're, we're excited to have them here, so.